President of the European Commission, dear Prime Ministers, Minister, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is really a great pleasure uh, for me to welcome you to the Latvian National Library. We are proud uh, to host high-level EU presidency meetings here during uh, the first half of this year. We come together in a very challenging time for Europe. Instability has grown at Europe's eastern and southern borders. Terrorism threats are still high on our agenda. The EU has been strongly affected by a new phenomenon, the migration crisis. All these challenges require common European action. One of the key priorities of the Latvian EU presidency was continuous and strong EU engagement with our Eastern partners. The Eastern neighborhood is high in our national agenda and should remain high on the EU agenda. The EU initial vision of the zone of stability and prosperity in the Eastern neighborhood remains relevant today. We are keen to develop the Eastern partnership because it helps to prevent the spread of security risks, migration and transnational crime. Much has been achieved already. A number of Eastern partnership countries have moved ahead with important reforms. They have concluded free trade agreement with the EU and the beneficiaries of various EU support programs and have made important steps toward visa liberalization. At the same time, civil society, independent media, good governance and judicial independence are areas where international assessment have, uh, have revealed slower progress. If we want the EU support instruments to become truly effective, we need the strong support of our societies and politicians for progress to be made in these important areas, especially in matters concerning the rule of law and corruption. We should avoid the growth of skepticism about the Eastern Partnership, which has been di displayed by some of our EU partners. I do hope that in various panel discussions devoted to the Eastern Partnership, participants will touch upon these challenges. International security is at the top of our agendas, be it conventional military threats, cyber attacks, information pressures, or migration flows. We, the transatlantic community, are strong enough militarily Latvia is prepared to increase its national efforts and to reach the level of 2% of GDP for defense spending in 2018. And yet, dangers remain. Our Western societies pride themselves on their freedom of expression, but this very openness leads to vulnerability which can be exploited by those who wish to target our critical infrastructure, the functioning of our markets, the cohesion of our societies and our values. We should coordinate <coughs> the efforts of NATO and the EU to address these new challenges. We must work hard nationally to strengthen the quality of our local media. I believe that the conference discussions will address the possible synergies of our national and international efforts to counter these new <coughs> threats. The security of our countries and societies is closely linked to the resilience and healthy growth of our economies. The strength of our economies is closely, closely linked to our ability to cooperate and use the opportunities of large-scale markets. It is for these reasons that we support a fast conclusion on the negotiations on the TTIP. 
I am certain that this trade agreement will stimulate the economies on both sides of the Atlantic and strengthen our geopolitical partnership. I would like to wish uh, all a very good uh, and fruitful discussions. Have a nice conference.